Hello everybody and welcome to this new tutorial. Today we are gonna see how to generate time averaging uh, of fields in OpenFOAM and we are gonna compare uh, its results with the temporal statistics filter in Paraview. So here I have a transient simulation, an alias simulation of bits daily. So just to show you the case of today. So here is our case. This is an inlet and this is the outlet and this is the evolution of the flow uh, within the uh, within the domain after the step here. Okay, so it's done in uh, using the solver piezo foam. And for the field averaging, here we are using the field average as a function object inserted here in control lict file. And we are specifying the pressure and velocity. And we are also specifying that we want uh, the mean, the prime to mean on. And of course the base will be time since we are averaging over time. Okay. So uh, what happens when we add this function object at the first, uh, in the beginning of the simulation, so before launching the simulation. So the averaging will be calculated for each time step and also recorded in these folders. So here uh, we can see that we have the P mean, uh, P prime to mean, U mean and U prime to mean, and we can show these variables in here in power view. So I just need to check you mean, for example, you prime to mean, P mean and P prime to mean. Okay, so here, for example, the U mean calculated by open form. So the, the plus of open form, so it, this variable is calculated in the real time. So in the real time, it's calculated for each time step, uh, like the velocity field, the pressure field, and all the turbulence, for example, variables. So which is more accurate? While, for example, in the uh, in the power view. So here, what I will do, I will uncheck these variables. Apply. So it's like I don't have these variables. I only have velocity and pressure and I want to generate uh, the averaging over time using per view. So without relying on the, uh, the open form results. So what I need to do is to go to filters, temporal, and I choose temporal statistics. Okay. So here, I have compute average, compute minimum, maximum, and standard deviation. When, for example, you have a lot of time steps recorded, for example, here I have 100 folders, what I need to do is to check only the variable of my interest. So here I am interested in computing the average, so I'll check only the average, and I'll end check minimum, maximum, and standard deviation. It depends of the uh, of your interest, of course. So I click apply. Okay, and here you can see that we have uh, we have u average and p average. It is the equivalent of u mean and p mean. So here we have the u average and the pressure average over time. So uh, what I want to do is to go split, uh, okay, split the, the view so I can compare the results of power view with those of open form. Okay, so here I'll go and check you, you mean, for example, and P mean, apply. It takes while because it will 
compute the temporal statistics again for the checked variables. No problem. And here we have the temporal statistics. Okay, I go and check U average. And here I choose instead, sorry, U mean. So we have practically the same results, the same shape and also the scaling here, the same colors and the, uh, the same distribution of velocity. So here in this case, we have the same, uh, the same results comparing bar view and open form. So now I'm going to show you another case where a bar view is less efficient to predict or to calculate the uh, the time averaging of velocity. So here in case one, I have 100 folders of time steps recorded. So the averaging done in per view was uh, based on 100 folders. So what if we have, we recorded only for a few folders, for a few uh, intervals of time steps to reduce the, uh, the calculation time. For example, here I have only 10, I have only 10, uh, 10 folders. So I'll run per form. Or I'll do something else. I'm gonna split this more. Oh, sorry, I split this one. Okay. And here I'll open the case two. So here I have case two. Okay, and I choose U and P, pressure and velocity apply it's the same results i just picked uh, 10 intervals from case one so the, the 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 case and parameters are all the same so here i have to run again temporal statistics filter and again i'll check only compute average apply Okay, so it's calculated in here and here you can see the results of the uh, temporal statistics filter generated by bar view and computing on only 10 time, uh, 10 time steps. So the scale is the same. The velocity uh, variation is between 0 and 11 meter per second. But here you the shape, it's less uh, smooth you can see that we don't have the same uh, the same uh, results if we can say that so the best way if you want to use per view for computing the temporal statistics is to get a large number of folders where you can compute the average of velocity over a large number of time steps so this is the idea. And also another uh, remark is that, for example, here in the control dict, we've run uh, the, the function objects field average at the start of the simulation. But at some times, we, uh, just, we can just keep it to the end. So run the function object in the end and it will be calculated, for example, computed uh, directly. It won't be calculated time step by time step in the log file, but it will be computed from the velocity here, the velocity file for, for example, uh, from interval to interval. So for example, here I have 10 intervals I'll try something. I remove all the calculated, all the uh, calculated U mean. 
okay and b min also so here we can check the folders we don't have u min and we don't have the p min okay and i'll run the function object using piso phone post process and it calculates the um, the the uh, it calculates the average of pressure and velocity. So for example, here we have a new file generated uh, you called you mean and p mean. So here I'm gonna call this again. Okay, so I use less space in here. Okay, so I'll call this one. I'll do refresh time to recall the uh, calculated velocity mean, u mean and u, uh, p mean. So I'll check this, apply. And for the u mean, you can see up. So here we have a different results from the, uh, from the already established results in case one and also for the temporal statistic generated by Paraview. Here we have a different, different a totally different results of U mean. So I think it's less efficient to run the field average after, uh, after running the simulation, after finishing the simulation. So if you have any comment or something to add re in regard to this, a remark please uh, tell me in the comments and see you in next video